And we begin tonight with changes happening across the Texas prison system. This is in response to a lockdown happening amid a surge of homicides, overdoses, and contraband contraband being found inside prison units. Our case that investigates team got exclusive access inside of, of a prison in Huntsville. And as Lee Waldman reports, officials are hoping that these changes are going to save the lives of the men and women behind bars. The mailroom of the win unit in Huntsville is busy. They try to be creative of how they hide it in the paper or in the envelopes in the books. Every letter, book, magazine, thoroughly checked by staff here. If it's glued like this, that means they tampered with it. And we usually run a little rod in here to make sure nothing has been stuffed in here. Before the lockdown, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice announced its transition to a fully digital mail system. After a successful pilot launch, TDCJ decided to roll things out system-wide. All mail now comes to this facility in Farmer's Branch outside of Dallas. The concept is, is that the letter would be scanned and upload uh, back to the unit and then release to the inmate tablet within 72 hours. All of this is an effort to interrupt the stream of contraband being smuggled through the mail system. Put on the tablet. Every inmate has one of these tablets. The mail system was a value add part of the contract for the tablet system. Um, so that's not costing uh, TCJ any any funds. Portland Wayne King says most of his mail was already coming in that way. But some people probably will hurt him. Like, what, mo the most thing is letters, I mean, uh, cards during the holidays, right? That's the big thing for me. Mailroom supervisor Margaret Thomas believes the change will help, but won't stop contraband altogether. The inmates are going to get crafty and more ideas, and they're going to try to get it in through the legal mail, which we're more on alert on that. TDCJ is also ramping up security with new millimeter wave scanners. Those will be getting an upgrade soon. And the, the new budget for the next two years, within that is $8 million. Uh, for us to install additional uh, middle wave um, scan systems in our maximum security facility, such as you see in the airport. With all of the changes and efforts, one question remains. What's driving the increase? Chief of Staff Jason Clark points to a few reasons. Back during COVID, uh, inmates did receive stimulus checks. So there was a significant amount of money, millions and millions of dollars that came into inmates' hands. And staffing challenges. System-wide, TDCJ is short approximately 6,500 correctional officers. We're at about a 72% staffing level. Some units are 100% staffed, but more than not, they are not 100% staffed. This lockdown is seen as a system-wide reset. The hope is this, in combination with systemic changes, will stop this dangerous trend. Our charge and our mission is to provide public safety and, and ensure everything we do ties back to that. For Case That Investigates, I'm Lee Waldman. So at this point, all prisons are officially out of the statewide lockdown. Streaming now, we have a bonus story for you about the programs that set inmates up for success. You're going to hear directly from some of those inmates. You can watch that story and our series Inside a Prison Lockdown on our website, ksat.com. It's also on our YouTube page. Just scan that QR code that you see right there on your screen. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.